Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. This one is going to be kind of showcasing what I already have on the gallery, just all my builds, just in case you're interested in seeing what I create. And I will be doing speed builds every Sunday. I have always done a build every Sunday even before YouTube so now I'll just be recording so you guys can see it but I wanted to show you basically what I build um, I kind of explained this um, in my last video about the type of content that or the type of builds that I build basically so but I wanted to kind of show you guys um, what that entails of so this will be a kind of pretty quick video but let me show you. So my origin ID is the same as my YouTube channel name, which is Enhega. So you can find me the same way once this connects. <laughs> Does this happen to anybody else? I don't know why this always happens to me. Um, so basically, I have quite a few builds already on here. And um, I am by no means a builder. I am not... <laughs> you know, Deligracy or Sim Supply or Hatsy, like I am not a builder like them, but I'm getting better. And I, the important thing is that I enjoy it. So this is the first house I ever built. It's looking at it, it's pretty, pretty bad, <laughs> but I keep it up here because, you know, maybe somebody will enjoy it. Maybe someone will want to come in and renovate it, but basically, so I have a few kind of just random kind of houses on here, but um, this is the first house I started for my Real Houses Challenge. So we're just going to click on that hashtag because everything's right here. So, and people, yeah, kind of steal my builds, but whatever. So um, this is kind of where it's all at. Some other people's stuff is on here, but this is mostly used by me. So um, basically, like I mentioned, if you hadn't watched my other video, I live in Utah and I look at houses that are going to be built. Um, people build a lot of suburban houses in the town that I live in, in Utah. Um, so they have floor plans and the outside of the house and what it looks like. Sometimes I can't always see the inside of the house, so I'm going off just the outside and I kind of just make up what's on the inside but basically this is what I do so I'll kind of choose a style I'll build it I upload an unfurnished version so I know some people are like well wait Natalie when you download any house you can put unfurnished sure but no furniture is in there at all so what I put in my unfurnished version is basic appliances think about it as if you were actually buying a house in real life Obviously, the countertops are already going to be there. The plumbing is already going to be there. Lighting is already going to be there. That kind of stuff already exists. And then you just move your furniture in. So because I'm building real houses that exist in real life, I wanted to keep it like it's real. So people can buy this and, you know, the appliances and the counters and all that are already there. And then you just put your own furniture. So that's why I do an unfurnished version. And that's what that means by unfurnished. So, of course, you can change this however you like, but just to kind of give you a place to start, just to make it kind of feel like it's fun and real. So that's what that's for. So this is the first one I built. Um, and so this is, then I'll upload a second one that is furnished in case, you know, some people don't like to furnish houses. So if you don't, I have one that's already furnished in my own style for you guys. So there's that. So I have all kinds of different ones, um, different sizes. I typically build 30 by 20 lots just because I'm not really experienced enough. I feel like in building to build any lots bigger than that, I feel like I build too big and the house doesn't make sense. So you'll find that most of these lots are 30 by 20. Um, I believe this one is a 40 by 30 and um, it's just kind of big and a little, I mean, it, just not a good use of space in my opinion. Um, you know, there's someone really might enjoy this, but um, I'm trying to work on figuring out how to lay out stuff better. Like I said, um, this outside is, does exist like in my real life. Like this is a real floor plan, but sometimes I can't always see what the floor plan looks like inside. Or a lot of what's different about this is that there's usually a garage. <laughs> so I have to alter it because we don't have cars in the Sims and I feel like it's kind of pointless to put in a garage. Um, so that's also why it's hard for me to 
kind of figure out the floor plans I usually kind of make it up so anyways but so here's you know another one um, this is a 30 by 20 kind of a more modern one I do like this one this one is one of my favorites personally that I built so far I just think it looks really cute and like dainty so um, like you can see it's a 30 by 20 and I always um, tell you which one I'm on so this is the eighth one I built and I built this um, in April and I'll kind of put a little description here on what it is, like if it's traditional, how many bedrooms and bathrooms, that kind of stuff. So this is the unfurnished one, always has some kind of color palette. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find them all. So, I mean, because you can see, like I didn't, I built this house, but I didn't, someone re-uploaded it, like, they decorated it differently obviously so and that's fine um, but as you can see most of these are mine so you can go to that hashtag or you can just go to my personal profile whatever you want to do um, but we'll go back to mine because I feel like people are getting in the way <laughs> so um, sometimes I do build community lots um, I've been wanting to do that every time a stuff pack or a pack comes out I've challenge myself to build a community lot if it makes sense that it's a community type stuff pack um, just to kind of branch out a little bit so I built this with for the bullying night stuff pack and it's a ultimate bullying alley and what that means is that there's a birthday room up here I know it's kind of hard to see but always in my personal gameplay I always like to take my sims out when it's a birthday to celebrate and I always feel like you know, birthday rooms that you can rent do exist in, you know, real life. So I wanted to put that in here because I thought that was really fun. So and there's some arcade stuff over here and that kind of stuff. So anyways, sometimes I try to build community lots. And, you know, I feel like that's pretty fun. So there's a few just kind of really going over this. I'm not going to go one by one. You guys can look through this and if you find anything that you like, you know, feel free to download it. Um, this is the house I built for the Parenthood Stuff Pack. So, um, has a, lo a lot of parent stuff in it and pretty big house five bedrooms you know this one again um is a real house that I saw it this one was already built like it wasn't to be built so there was no in like there's no floor plan of the inside it was just a picture of the outside but <laughs> I just thought it looked really cute so I built that one for that pack um, and then when the fitness stuff pack came out, I built this gym and spa type of thing. So it's kind of an all-in-one. I really like this. I've been enjoying this in my own game a lot. So. so it's kind of an overview. And sometimes I like to do these shell challenges. Actually, um, if you guys like to decorate and maybe not so much build, you should check out these shell challenges because they're actually really fun. Um, basically, you have just a blank shell um, and you add like all the plants and everything. It's just the building basically and you decorate it and I don't know, they're kind of fun, but so I had fun decorating this one. So, but this is kind of just an overview of what you know, my profile kind of looks like the type of stuff that I build so you can, you know, get an idea for future builds what my style is. I build definitely definitely suburban houses I am not good at building modern houses this is the closest to modern I will ever get my personal style is just not modern so I'm just not good at it and there's not a lot of modern houses in my real life so I just never really see them I live in a city that is extremely suburban um, kind of in the middle of nowhere so there just isn't really any modern buildings around me it's all this type of stuff this you know super family suburban so this is that this is all that surrounds me but this is just my personal style so this is what I like to build so um you know I'm getting better at building I'm I'm always learning new things it's really fun I used to remember in the sims 2 I hated building and I would build these huge houses that were just like ridiculous like not even good I mean like they wouldn't even be big from the outside they would just be big in the inside basically and just so much space and uh, so it's just all about practice I just I actually really enjoy building it's a stress reliever and I love putting them in my own game but I really don't always use my houses as often because I like to explore other creators as well there's some really really good creators out there um, but yeah, so this is my profile basically. Um, so if you guys are kind of interested in downloading more, 
of my content. Um, again, it's Enhega, and I will have it linked down below. And just kind of tune in every Sunday for a, a new speed build um, to kind of discover and watch me build and kind of learning together. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video.